Hey guys, welcome to the basement. We got Minnesota Twins franchise episode number 96. It is a four game series with the Oakland Athletics. We're going to get right into it. The A's take game one of the series 7 to 2. They improve to 65 and 62. They hand us our 73rd loss of the year. Irvin Santana goes six and two thirds, gives up six hits and six runs, uh, six strikeouts and two walks in the loss. Er, uh, Jesse Hahn. Uh, seven innings for the A's, gives up six hits and two runs. He gets the win. Chris Davis for the A's, two for four with a home run and four RBIs. Game two of the series, we defeat the A's seven to six. Ryan Madsen with the loss for Oakland. He's their closer. Winning pitcher Kevin Segrist, he went one and two thirds, gave up two hits, no runs, one strikeout. Joe Maurer, four for five with a home run and an RBI. Kenneth Vargas, two for five with a home run and two RBIs. For us, Robbie Grossman, one for two with a double and two driven in as well. The third game of the series, the Twins win at five to four. Our 56th win of the year, Trevor May gets the win. He's eight and six on the year in relief. Ryan Flaherty, two for four with his first home run of the year. Byron Buxton, three for five with a home run as well. I believe it was his first home run of the year. Eddie Rosario, one for four with a home run. Joe Maurer, two for three. And Sean Doolittle gets the loss for the A's. All right, we're at the final game of this Oakland series before we head off on the road to Cleveland and Kansas City. It is game number 130. And Alex Meyer will take the hill for us. The Twins on a Sunday afternoon wearing the red uniforms. Alex Meyer, 25th start. He's 7-7 on the year, 4.04 ERA. Struggled a little bit as of late. And he will face Kendall Graveman, making his 15th start. He's 8-6 and six with a 4.47 ERA, 70 strikeouts to 39 walks for him. His whip is a little bit high at 1.58. We're going to pick this one up in the fourth inning with Chris Davis. 18 home runs on the year with 66 RBIs for Oakland. And Davis swings and misses. Alex Meyer with the strikeout. He is leading our team in strikeouts this year. In the middle of the fourth, we've got no score here at Target Field in a low-scoring pitcher's duel. Josh Figley to the plate now. Josh Figley, the catcher for the A's. Top of the fifth inning, and Figley's going to line this one into right field. That one is fading into the corner. And Figley is on with a single for Oakland. The next batter is Yonder Alonzo. He's batting 284. He's 0 for 1 so far on the day. We're in the fifth inning again, and Yonder Alonzo drives this one deep to right field, and that one's going to reach the seats. A two-run home run for Yonder Alonzo. Eleventh of the year for Alonzo, and the A's jump out to a two-to-nothing lead in the fifth. Juan Centeno now. He's batting 187. Basically a defensive catcher with two outs and a runner on first. And Centeno's going to drive this one into the gap. That one's heading towards the wall. It's back at the wall, and it's gone! Juan Centeno reaches the seats, his first home run of the season. And you are hereby circled, young man. Juan Centeno, a two-run home run. It's number one on the year. 385 feet. For the Twins' backup catcher. And we are all tied up at two. We go to the six. Trevor May comes on to pitch for Minnesota. He's making his 53rd appearance. Eight and six on the year. And he's going to face Yonder Alonso already with a two-run two home, two home run in the game. And he's got runners on first and second with two outs. A one-two count. The delivery from Trevor May. And Alonso drives it into center field. Buxton gets it. He's going to throw. Coming towards the plate. And it is not in time. Yonder Alonzo drives in the go-ahead run for the A's. In the middle of the sixth, it's 3-2 to two, Oakland. Eighth inning. Michael Tonkin on for the Twins now. He's got a 3.48 ERA. 14 strikeouts in 20 and two-thirds innings. And he is on to face Chris Davis. With a runner on second and one out, Davis is going to line this one into center field. The Twins are playing deep. It drops in front. Sorry, not center field, left field. Uh, the Twins are playing deep. It drops in front of Eddie Rosario, and the run comes in to score. Ninth inning. Ryan Madsen on to try to close this one out. It's 4-2, to two, I believe, for the A's. 
48th appearance for Madsen. He's got 31 saves. Max Kepler steps into the box. He's got one home run on the year, batting 214. He represents the tying run with one out in the bottom of the ninth and an 0-2 count to Kepler. Here comes the delivery from Madsen and Kepler. Flares this one into left field. That one is heading back and it is taken care of in left by Mark Canna. And that'll bring up Juan Centeno already with a two-run home run in the game. And he represents the tying run with two outs. Centeno drives this one to center field. It's shallow. But the A's take care of it. Win the game 4-2 to two in game number 130. Alex Meyer gets the loss. He's 7-8 and eight on the air. Kendall Graveman with the win. Ryan Madsen is 32nd save. Yonder Alonso with the home run. He's got three RBIs in the game. Josh Reddick, one for three with a double for the A's. For us, Juan Santana went one for four with a home run and two RBIs, his first home run of the game, as we drop our 74th loss of the season. Quick look at the standings at this point. The Blue Jays, 15 and a half games ahead of the Red Sox. They're starting to run away with the AL East. In the Central, the Indians, a two-game lead on the Royals, a two-and-a-half game lead on the Tigers. We are in last place at 56 and 74. Out in the West, the Mariners hold a four-and-a-half game lead on the A's, five-and-a-half over the Angels. The Astros, seven-and-a-half back, and the Rangers in last place. Out in the NL, the East, the Nats have an 11-game lead on the Fish, 14 games over the Mets. In the Central, the Cubs, 11-and-a-half games over the Buccos, who are 71 and 58, 14 and a half over the Cards, and in the West, the Dodgers, 14 and a half game lead on the Giants, and a 20 game lead on the Rockies. So we don't have a whole lot of division races going on outside of maybe the AL West and the AL Central. Those are the two closest divisions. Next up, we have the Cleveland Indians from Progressive Field in Cleveland for Minnesota Twins franchise, episode number 97. Hope you'll join us here on the basement and continue to follow along with this marathon, fr marathon franchise of Minnesota Twins baseball.